Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this video session, I will explain you how you will access htdoc folder. That is your main folder of your website. That is your main path that you will access through the browser. First of all, I need to start XAMPP server. How can I start? I will go to my e drive because last time I did the installation in e drive. This is e drive and this is my XAMPP folder. I will click on XAMPP folder and here is XAMPP control panel is there. Exam control. Okay, you can click on this icon. No XAMPP control panel appeared in your screen. Click on start button to start the Apache services and click on start button to start the MySQL services. Okay, now both services has been started. Now what you will do, you can go to E drive. This is your E drive and this is the XAM folder. I will show you here path. You can go to E drive, then XAM folder. This is a XAM folder. This is E drive, XAM, and then you will go to HD doc. HD HT docs. Okay, HT docs. Which where you will go? HT docs. This is your main path. This is your main path that you will keep your file. That you will keep your file for the WordPress or for any other software for any other project. Okay. Now, for example, I will give you one example. I am going to create a one folder in HDDoc. If I will create a folder, then I must access that folder by using the same name. Okay, I'm going to write a folder name is suppose ABC. Okay, in ABC, I'm going to create one file. Suppose new. Here I'm writing suppose index.html. Okay, I have created HTML file. And what I will do, suppose I'm copy paste this one all. Write yourself. I will copy paste this this uh, HTML code. Control C and I will paste here index.html. I will save it. Okay, folder name is ABC. Okay, if I want to access this file, what I have to write here? I will write here. First localhost. When you will look, when you will write localhost, it will display a default page of Apache Web Server. Okay. Now you can remove this dashboard and write your folder name that is ABC. Once you will write ABC, then it will display your file. Right here localhost then it will display a default page that is apache default page okay and then you will remove dashboard and then write your folder name abc once you will write your folder name abc then it will run that file automatically okay this is your main path whenever you will access this uh, folder you have to write localhost and abc and after this if that folder contains the html file 
that is uh, with the extension of um, means index with the name of index dot html index dot php default dot um, html default dot php and home dot php like that okay that website that, that that file will be executed automatically okay this is the way to access any website same way in hddocs xam and hddocs i will create a website same way i will create a folder with my id suppose my id number is one two three four five six in this folder in this folder i will ins i will keep my wordpress files okay what's the path of my file hddocs and one two three four five six next what i will do i am going to the wordpress website this is wordpress website you will write wordpress.org okay click on get wordpress this is get wordpress click on get wordpress once you will click it will give you a downloaded link of wordpress files download wordpress 6.3.1 you can click on it okay now downloaded has been started now it's completed okay now you can go to the folder see more wordpress go to download folder and in download folder okay this is wordpress okay you can copy this wordpress copy this folder and go to same folder that you have created which folder you have created you have created one two three four five six here you will paste that folder that website files wordpress files you need to unzip this file this folder or you will unzip right click over it and then extract to wordpress okay click on this folder wordpress no students your path is this see xamp hddocs 1,2,3,4,5,6 wordpress dash 6.3.1 then wordpress okay this is a long path what i will do i need these files i will copy these files and i will put it onto the main main folder which one is main folder one two three four five six is my main folder i will copy ctrl c copy these files copy and going to this folder hddocs one two three four five six and i will paste here all the files now i am copying all the files from that sub folders to the main folders that is my folder name is one two three four five six here i will copy all the files now from here i have copy all the files okay in the next lecture i will show you how you will install a wordpress thank you jazakallah khair